send you here for life, that's exactly what they take. I believe in two things. Discipline. Help me! In the Bible. Here you'll receive both. Probably all seen it by now, Shawshank Redemption is a Hollywood phenomenon. After the film's unremarkable box office showing 20 years ago, it's found a huge audience on video and cable that continues to grow and pad Warner Brothers' bottom line. Here to tell us more about it is WSJ reporter Russell Adams. Russell, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Clearly, this movie is a good movie and a lot of people like it. So why did it do so poorly when it was first released at the box office? Well, yeah, the, the people that are involved with the movie, the participants, say that they cite a number of reasons. I mean, one is um, it's a mostly male cast. It's a prison drama born out of a wrongful conviction, which is not the happiest theme. Um, confusing title, religious connotations, mm -hmm. tough to market, a lot of things that, um, you know, that probably most studios today would, would run from. So, you know, it, it was tough to catch on. And so what changed for it? Was there a huge word of mouth? How did, it, how did its popularity grow so extremely? So even though it wasn't a commercial success right off the bat, it was a critical success. So a lot of critics liked it. Some complained about how long it was, but uh, based on that, it was nominated for seven Oscars, didn't win one, but after the Oscars, uh, Warner Brothers re-released it, it made some more money, and it was kind of primed for its release on video, which at the time was still a big business. And right. I think that, you know, people discovered it on video, and it was the top renting video of 1995. They told all their friends. I, that's how I watched it. Someone said, oh, you've got to see this movie, Shawshank Redemption. I'd never even heard of it and watched right. it on video, yeah. right? And yeah. of course, fantastic cast, Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, who mm -hmm. give astounding performances. So once you see it, you're going to tell your friends about it. Now, what does this movie Movie mean both for the studio and the actors who are in it. It really is the gift that keeps on giving, isn't right, it? Right, right. Well, it's interesting. I mean, you know, maybe by today's standards, uh, you know, blockbusters like Frozen and stuff, it's not not huge money, but it has been a steady income generator from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. On the actors' side, usually, you know, residual income from airings on TV and, and elsewhere, you know, they they pop up and then they fade very quickly, and it's dollars, pennies. Um, in, in this case, though, like one of the actors, the guy that played the warden, Bob Gunton, told me that, you know, it's been 20 years, and, you know, for the first 10 years he was, and, and even up until today, it's generating a very substantial income. And he said, you know, probably long after I'm gone, my daughter's still going to be getting checked. Fantastic. I love it. He's a real working actor. Now, this film really does have a true place in pop culture at this point. There are even tours of the prison where it was filmed. Yeah, um, the town where most of it was filmed in Mansfield, Ohio, which is where the prison is, and a lot of the other sites, courthouse and tree and, and other other staples of the movie, they've sort of built a little business about uh, off of this. I mean, it is it is their number one tourist attraction. They get thousands of people every year that come in to look at all the sites. They've created this whole trail of 14 different sites. It's a it's truly a incredible. So are other studios looking at this model and saying, hey, we need to comb our libraries and find some more sleeper hits and send them out? Well, well y yes and no. I mean, on one hand, yes. I mean, libraries are incredibly important to studios given how expensive it is to make movies and that DVDs are fading as a revenue source. So you want your library to be filled, be filled with evergreen titles. On the other hand, this is not the kind of movie that's a formula for success in modern Hollywood. It's a, you know, again, all male cast. It was pretty expensive to make for the time, 25 million in 1993. And, you know, it's not the kind of movie that inspires sequels and merchandising no. and all the other stuff that, that Hollywood likes now. So surprisingly, it's like one person, one studio executive told me that there's no way that movie gets made today. Really? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing it was made, right? right. Russell, thank you so much for thank that. You.